Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So this is for the May Snacku box. Uh, I do apologize big time for this one being as late as it is. Uh, I wanted to get this done much sooner. I mean, maybe like as close as to two weeks ago, to be honest, because I've had this box for a little bit. But I got sick. I got very sick, and then I ran out of time after I recovered enough from being sick. My wife ended up getting sick on top of that, and... You know, it takes about a half an hour to do these unboxings, so I really apologize for that. Um, all my other ones should be much more timely, because hopefully I don't get sick again. Uh, I always do look forward to these, though, and May was my birthday month, so very excited to see if this ends up being my f favorite box. Be my birthday box. Anyway, we'll find out. I'm uh, going to pull this out, show you guys what it looks like in there. You can see everything. Look at it all. Look at it all in all its glory. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. So the theme, I believe, was samurai. So I don't really know how that ties in, how they're going to tie everything into, like, samurai. I don't know if it's, like, samurai cuisine or, to, to, uh, or a particular region that is more tied to samurai culture or not. But um, they have cool artwork on these always. There's a samurai dude. All right. So, uh... Do, 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 do. I'm not going to read all the stuff at the top, but if you guys want to pause and read that, go ahead. Then you can kind of get the idea of why they chose Samurai and all that. But I will read the stuff for the snacks. Um, there's, looks like six of the snacks are from like the core Samurai portion. And then there's a bunch of like additional ones down here. So let's go through and see what we got. I just picked up the first one. I think it is, this is the Kamome Egg, I believe. I think, yeah, Kamome egg. Uh, the Tohoku region has a long coastal region which borders the Pacific Ocean. As such, there are many small fishing villages that dot the coast and lots of seagulls. These snacks were made to look like seagull eggs, but don't worry, it's just a soft white bean caked cake. It says caked, but white bean cake dipped in white chocolate. Okay, let's find out. If you've seen enough of these, well, let me show you the packaging first. There you go. If you've seen enough of my reviews of Snacku, you probably know by now that I'm not big on white chocolate typically. But historically with this box, as they've done white chocolate in Japan, it tastes better in my opinion. I don't know why that is. Okay, so here we go. So yes, it looks like an egg, like a big, big seagull egg. Check that out. It smells like white chocolate. A little bit buttery, white chocolatey. It smells a little waxy. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You get that like white bean paste flavor in the middle, like that texture of being like a little bit um, mealy. Not mealy. I want to say like a tad bit grainy ish. Um. It's good. It kind of tastes like vanilla custard-like, though. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to save this half for the wife. I like that. That was really good. Um, the combination between the white chocolate aspect and that vanilla flavor in there tastes so good. It's creamy. It's cakey. And it's just like... Vanilla custard. It tastes so good. That's really awesome. I really, really, really like that one. I really do. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. It's, um... So, with a lot of these snacks, they're sweet, like, because they're sugary. They're sweet, but they're usually, like, not really sweet. That's one that's on the sweeter side of what I get out of this box. And I'm honestly okay with that, because it tastes really good. That's really nice. That's really nice. Okay, let me see what this... I have another one of those. Put that aside. What is this? Okay, I think I know. I think this is a Zunda Crunch. Is that what this is? I think. So I don't have... Oh, no. That's that. What is this one? I'm going to have to open it, and then I can tell you. Okay, so that's what this is. I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to see because of how reflective it is. I just have to get into this, and then, sorry, then I have to figure out what it is. Okay, yeah, it's the Zunda Crunch. The, on this paper, the wrapper looks very different, so. 
All right, so this is light, crunchy rice puff sticks dipped in Zunda chocolate. These snacks are exclusive to the Sendai area. They don't look appetizing, to be honest. It's like a kind of green, like, cereal bar. You know how people would take, like, um, you know, they do, like, a Rice Krispie Treat type thing, but they do it with different types of cereal. It kind of looks like someone chose a different cereal that had some green to it and put, like, white chocolate in it. What is that smell? It smells relatively sweet. I smell, I smell some sort of grain. And then there's a particular smell. Like, I do smell some sort of chocolate, but there's some sort of other, like, spice character in there. It smells interesting. I don't know. I gotta try it. So, what's binding it all together? Tastes kind of like a white chocolate that has a little bit of a milk chocolate mixed in. And it's kind of good. For it look looking like it's like a crunchy cereal bar, it's very soft. Like it kind of, like it's got a little bit of a crunch to it, but it's like a soft crunch, so you're not going to like hurt your teeth or anything yeah it definitely tastes like it's it's like a white chocolate but with a little bit of milk chocolate mixed in there i don't know why it's green to be honest because there's no sort of like vegetal flavor it's not like matcha or anything like that but um it's pretty good it's it's coming off kind of buttery too with the aftertaste a little bit buttery and i like that it's kind of nice sorry when i picked that up and put it down kind of like moves the camera a little bit so i apologize my bad okay moving on here is something that looks interesting oh well, i mean it all looks interesting but um oh i think i oh is this the um zunda manju okay i believe so it's got to be the zunda manju oh i hope this isn't on the outside what i think it is okay so zunda manju let's show you so it kind of looks like a little baby donut without a hole in it. That's kind of what it looks like. Uh, Sendai is famous for food that is made with zunda, which is crushed edamame paste. Oh. Because Mas Masamun used to eat zunda before going to war. These soft, thin-skinned rice cake filled with a slightly sweet zunda filling, perfect with a cup of green tea. I don't know. I can see some green coming through in the bottom. See? It's like a green. Yeah. It does smell kind of vegetal. Yeah, like tea, kind of. The inside is very potato-y in texture. It's this weird kind of like lime green. I don't know why. It does have a little bit of a vegetal note to it. Slightly sweet. But it's very potato-y, to be honest. It's like so potato-y, it's kind of like, eh. You know, potatoes, it's just so starchy. And it kind of, because it's so heavy, it has a tendency to like crush a lot of, you know, more um, nuanced flavors that would go with it. And it kind of does that. So it's just like a little bit sweet, a little bit vegetal, and potato texture. Starchy. I'm not big on it. It's not bad, but it's not great. That color's funky, though. <laughs> I like that color. It's kind of cool. That They should have put that in the one for uh, St. Patrick's Day. I'm sure they don't actually celebrate St. Patrick's Day, really, in Japan. But, you know, that's just me being dumb. All right, let's try something different. Oh, no, I want to save that one for a little bit. Let's save that one. Let's do this one. This should be interesting. Bourbon fowl cookie. F-O-W-L, fowl cookie. So I don't know if there's chicken in it or turkey or something. No, probably not. A tasty butter cookie filled with smooth almond cream. That sounds awesome. Wait, is there an extra one in here? I'm sure there is. Yeah. My wife. 
she likes like almond stuff and cookies so if this tastes the way it sounds like it should taste i think that she could really like this it looks cool it looks nice it's got like a nice little um slight brown crisp to it Ooh, you can smell that almond on the outside of it wow very almond driven it smells buttery and almondy oh that smells awesome Oh my god. Oh man. It's like okay. So the actual cookie, you can see it like the almond cream on the inside right there. Right here. The actual cookie is very soft, but it's um it's like flaky. Like you just cut right through it with your teeth and it, it is buttery and it just kind of like melts as you're chewing. And that almond cream in the middle is very rich. And once again, it's just like smooth, it's buttery, and it's got a lot of like great almond flavor. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, my wife is going to like this one. Oh my gosh. The almond cream is amazing. It's like, it's, look at this, that almond cream. So I like almond butter. But that's better than almond butter. It's kind of like, think about like a homemade, not chemical tasting, um, like a peanut butter cup. But instead of it being peanut butter, it's almond butter. And that's kind of like what this is like. It's, that's phenomenal. I like almond butter, but this is like a kicked up more sugary version that is just smooth and creamy and buttery and tasty and that thing's amazing that is an amazing snack right there mm. my wife is gonna love that one wow yeah that's killer all right let's see what this one is okay Ooh. okay so this thing i think is really uh delicate so i need to f figure out if i have one that's not broken because a lot of this stuff just gets broken really easily I'm not sure I do have any that's broken, so let, oh, I'll just go with the one that seems least broken. This is a Masamun cookie. Cut cookies in the sh in the same <sighs> same. The, it's it's not perfectly written. The incorrect words in here and stuff. Cute cookies in the shape of a triangle rice ball. Onigiri but also made to look like Date Masum with the iconic gold crescent moon helmet. Famous samurai. Oh, yeah, this one's messed up. Eh, it's not too bad, though. Let's see if I can get it out without making it break anymore. Okay, so there's a piece that came off. There you go. See, it's supposed to be the dude's face with his little, like, golden crescent thing on there. Yeah. Smells. So kind of, it's weird. It kind of smells like my mother's oatmeal raisin cookies is what it smells like. It does smell like oatmeal with a little bit of sugar. That's interesting. Let's try it. It's very light. It's very buttery. Sugary. It tastes like a nice, light, crisp sugar cookie. Or no, I mean like a butter cookie. Mmm, that's good. This is a type of cookie that a lot of people would, would want to have with like coffee or tea or something like that. Like it's nice and sweet. It's not crazy sweet, but it's nice and sweet. It's light. It's buttery. It's pretty good. It's nothing like phenomenal. I understand why they put it in there because it has it has the little face on it, so it's kind of tied into the samurai thing, but it's not all that different from stuff you can get in the States. But, you know, I'm down to try stuff. All good. All right, let's do this one next, which is Zunda Sandwich. Sandwich or the Sandwich, as it's said in Japan. 
Zunda Sweet Sand Pie is what it says. There you go. Uh, a tasty regional snack from Matsushima, which is located 30 minutes north of Sendai. The area is famous for its bay, which is dotted with small pine-clad islets and has been named one of Japan's most scenic areas. It's also home to Ziganji, one of Japan's oldest Buddhist temples, which was founded in 828. That is very old. Let's find out what this Zunda sandwich is like. And much like the Zunda Crunch, there's a green coloration going on. Well, you can't really see it initially, so... You know, like crap all over me. So it kind of looks like a wafer cookie with lots of salt or uh, lots of sugar on top. It smells like granola. It definitely, I eat a lot of granola. Like for breakfast, I usually eat granola. It smells like granola. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. Oh. That's really good. I'm trying to think what it's like. So it's kind of like, it's like a really light, buttery, flaky pastry. Kind of like, I'm trying to think of something similar. I don't know. It's just a really awesome, flaky, crunchy pastry. It's really good. Mm. Oh, dude. And the sugar on top is not too much. That's really good. Okay. Okay. So basically, it tastes like a really awesome homemade pie crust, to be honest, with some of that um, chocolate on the inside. That's kind of like the mix of like white chocolate with a little bit of milk chocolate mixed into it. The pie crust aspect of this is just, oh, it's like nice and crispy and flaky, and that's awesome. That's really good. I love that one. Ooh, that's so good. Mm. Yeah, that's... Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. We're getting down there. We're getting down there. So next, I'm going to go for Yaki Soy. Lightly salted grilled soybeans. A light, healthy snack for when the afternoon cravings kick in. Okay. Soybeans. Oh, no. There we go. Sometimes these things are hard to get open. Yeah, it's just like a, it's like a little toasted soybean looking thing. It smells, it smells like a soybean, a little salty, vegetal. It's very good. Hmm. There's some other flavor in there. It's like a slight soy sauce, I think. I like the salt level in it. There's a decent amount of salt in there. It's very crunchy, as you can probably hear. I really like that crunch. This is like a better for you potato chip, kind of. This is good. Yeah, it's just like a nice, easy, like light, salty snack. There's not, like, a crazy amount of flavor to it. It's mainly, like, crunchy and salty. And there's a little bit of a soy soybean flavor. And it reminds you of potato chips, to be honest. I like it. I can 100% eat these things. And I will. Those are real good. Nice. This has been a really good box. By and large, there are a few things I'm like, oh, okay. But for the most part, it's a good box. All right. Oh, this one. Okay, this. I don't know about this one. We'll we'll do. Okay, I always do the hard candies last. There's a hard candy, so we'll do that last. But let's do this one right now. Buttered potato mochi. So this sounds really weird, and this is one that I picked up earlier and was like, I'm gonna save that for a little bit later. I'm gonna try this one. This buttered potato mochi, bite-sized mochi snack kneaded with buttered baked potato. This sounds really weird. Oh, they're like individually packaged within here. Okay, cool. And they kind of just look like um, like little jellies. Well, I should just take it out of this little package because 
You don't want to see that. You don't need to see that. It's nothing special. I mean, it just look. Yeah, it just looks like a sugared jelly. See? Yeah, let me put my hand behind it to see it a little bit better. Yeah, see? It's like a sugared jelly. I smell butter. I also smell potato, which is very weird. Alright. It's jelly. I'm so weird. It tastes like a potato. This is very weird. Yeah, it's like a buttery... It's, it's like a buttery potato gel. That's so weird. Like, texturally, this flavor makes no sense with it. Like, it makes no sense. It tastes like a buttered baked potato... But it's a little jelly with a little bit of sugar on it, which doesn't add that much sweetness, so it's fine. That's so weird. It doesn't taste bad. It actually tastes good for the flavors in there. Like, it tastes like a nice buttered baked potato. It's just my brain can't, <laughs> can't like, put these things together, like, the jelly with those flavors. It just doesn't. It doesn't compute properly. Actually, it's not just sugar on there. It's a little bit of salt, too. It's like salt and sugar, which is good. Um, okay. I, I That one's really weird but interesting. But if you're a fan of being adventurous and tasting odd stuff like that, it's not gross. It's not gross. Check check that out because it's, it's, it's an experience. It's definitely an experience. Okay, so let me go with, I don't know if these are both the same. Oh, I don't think these are the same flavor. So one's one and one's the other one. And they're Sendai Mini Rolls. See, Sendai, oh, which, I guess I should put them this way. Let's see, there you go. It's like Samurai on there. Sendai Mini Rolls. A regional delicacy which has been made in Sendai for over 100 years. Soft bumkuchen cakes filled with either red bean paste or white mochi cream. Oh, dude, I want the mo white mochi cream one. Oh, I don't know which one's going to be which. I'm not going to open them both. I think this might be the white mochi cream one. I have 50-50 chance. Let's try. I'm going to try for it. Get what we get, but... Oh, I think it's the white mochi cream one. Sweet! Yeah, it just looks like a cake roll. I actually have had something... Uh, well, a few things similar to this in the Snacku before. It's one of those ones where, if you can see, there's, like, multiple layers here. You see? You can see the multiple layers of, like, very thin cake. Which other ones I've had kind of like this before have been really good. It smells like vanilla. Yeah, it smells like a vanilla cream and sugary. That's pretty much it. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. Mmm. That mochi cream is very nice. It's a little bit marshmallowy. It's like a really nice kind of like vanilla-y marshmallow fluff in this nice like multi-layered cake. There. Let's, there we go. Shade that a little bit. This is really good. Mmm. I like that. That's tasty. I think my wife will dig it, too. That's good, man. This has been a really good box, man. And this is what I don't understand. Like, these snacks that they have, these little packaged snacks that we've been getting from Japan, they're always, like, when they're cakey like that, they're always still soft. They're always nice and light and fluffy and soft. And when American companies do it, they're not. Like, they get hard, like, real quick. So I don't know what the difference is here. I guess it's ingredients based, but I don't know. Also, they never taste chemically. They taste natural. Like they taste like your mother or someone's mother made these things. They never taste like these crappy chemical things that get made in the United States all the time, which drive me nuts. I just don't eat them. So, all right. So that brings us to our last thing and it is summer melon candy. Have we had anything melon flavored in here? I think like maybe like one thing or something. Uh, refreshing melon candy, which is popular with Japanese children during the summer. Okay. Looks like melon candy. It's green. 
obviously not cantaloupe, more like a honeydew if it's green. Let's get this open. That's very sticky. It looks like it kind of like partially melted in here and then like reformed. So that's why it's sticky. Ugh. Gross. Would I be able to pick that smell out as melon? I'm not sure. It smells a little floral, actually. Sugary, floral. And then I'd probably just be like some sort of fruit. Ooh. Ooh. It very much tastes like melon. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Yeah. I'm not going to suck on that thing the whole time because then I can't really talk. But, um... Oh, that's good. It's it's very nice. It definitely tastes like a honeydew melon, which is a really nice, refreshing, light flavor. And um, yeah, it's really good. That's a very nice candy. And once again, with all the snacks in here, it's, it's sugary, but it's not like over the top crazy sugary like they usually are in the U.S. So I appreciate that. Um, that's very melon, refreshing, honeydew melon driven. And I like that. That's very nice. That's something I could suck on while I'm like driving somewhere as like just a little bit of flavor in my mouth. So, okay, quite good, yeah. Um, so hopefully people enjoyed this unboxing like the other snack unboxings. If this is the first one you're seeing of these, please go check out all the other ones because all the boxes are very, very different. You get some really interesting stuff in there. Uh, I always love doing this. I love tasting new things. I love Japanese culture and Japanese food is very interesting to me. So this has been a lot of fun. I think Snacku does a really good job putting these boxes together. Shigeki at uh, Snacku, wonderful job, sir. You're doing an excellent job, and I'm loving getting it. So I'm going to keep doing it. And please, people, let me know. Do you like these unboxings? Does any of this stuff look interesting to you? Are you getting Snacku as well? You should be. I'm not getting paid for that or anything. Like, I actually pay for these boxes and everything. This is just me. Um, but are you getting these boxes? If so, what are you liking? What are you not liking? Put it in the comments. Hit that subscribe if you like the video or like anything about the video. Just hit the subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time I'm putting up a video. And then you can give me thumbs ups if you want. Don't have to, but if you want to. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.